Sure will. You know, they've already started the first phase of this work, milling the top of the roadway here where we're standing, right by the Ellis Avenue I-20 area, all the way down to past Highway 18. The whole job along I-20 here could last until May in all likelihood. And if you think driving I-20 is rough now, it's about to get rougher. I-20 in Jackson is getting a facelift. The road is horrible. The road is very horrible, like bumpy, you mess up the you know, on a part of your car. Some drivers say it literally needs a facelift. It's an absolute disaster. <laughs> I don't like it. I get dings on my windshield all the time. MDOT crews are beginning a massive project of peeling away the top layer of roadbed. The work will take place from I-20 at McRaven to I-55 at McDowell Road and over to I-20 at Pearson Road in Pearl. According to MDOT, it is an $11 million project. The work will take place overnight, trying to lessen the impact on drivers. We just wanted to include as much of this damaged road as we could in this project uh, and, and get it all done while we can. That way it limits the impact to, to travelers. Uh, that's why we're doing it overnight. Yeah, it's dangerous. Uh, I ride motorcycles as well. Uh, that's something that's kind of sketchy at times. Drivers are being encouraged to use caution, even more so now as the road surface in the repair areas will be a little rough. MDOT engineer Trent Holbrook says the work is needed in part because of the Yazoo clay underneath and just wear and tear. We're going in taking off the existing surface, which is, um, as people drive through there, you can tell that most of it's coming out by itself. Um, it's just old and just time to time to replace it. It's enough to mess a car up. MDOT says that road milling work will take place for at least six months, and it is actually just the first phase of what will be more to do after that work is done. MDOT says, in fact, it is still in the design phase of what it will do when the completion is done for taking that top layer off, but obviously that will involve repaving that entire section of I-20. Meanwhile, drivers need to take notice, understand that the work starts here at night at 8 p.m. and then lasts through 6 a.m. in the morning. We're live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.